Hey there, this is Alcal playing Mario 3 Aesthetic Run. No points, no coins. And you know what? In the off chance that this is legitimately your first look at Mario 3, if you've never seen Mario 3 before, I'm gonna go ahead and do one spade game. If you go on spade, you're being assaulted by a gigantic toad and he threatens you to play an impossible bonus game. It is impossible to line them all up. Depending on what you line up, you get two, three, or five one-ups. We did it! We solved the puzzle. Let's swim. Look at all the slacker too. This time it's not just what I call mysteriously friction ball, but actual spinies. Yeah, I'm not sure where the term friction ball came from, to be perfectly honest. It's kind of like just throwing down the last to try and get down the submarine or something. Like, it's kind of cute, honestly. Uh-oh. It's also, like, legit pretty dangerous. Pretty sure at some point I thought this level was some flavor of impossible. Like, if you didn't have, like, some kind of power-up or something, but then you are outside. Oh man, I beat the level! Star, flower, star, that's how you beat the devil. Yeah, it's true. Like, you can just watch any amount of pamphlet about testosterone abuse, and I'll tell you all about it. Here we go! Get some chest and eat a clover. I don't know what that means. Oh, fire flower. I wish I had a leaf. I used up a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of leaves. See? Alright, it's just faster to do this. Like, part of me wonders if the true aesthetic stat there is to use the music block to make them get asleep, but it's just that, you know, I really could use these uh, tools that you gain from committing violence upon the people. Alright, so... The gimmick everyone remembers from this level has nothing to do with big things. That's right. That guy's hopping around and gonna fall in this pit. We did it, we solved the game. Look at that normal size cannon. And look at that red flashing bullet that I despawned. That's right, this is the level where you can despawn. No, it's boom. Whoops! I failed to jump there. <laughs> but yeah, so the flashing bullets return. Well, he's gonna be in the way. I'm gonna skip ahead and do six. That's right. That's gonna be real confusing. This level also has a pretty fun gimmick that's kind of weird. It's... Oh, shoot. Is that jump possible? I actually don't know if it is. I mean, I can skip six. I'm not gonna use, like, resources to beat a level that I'm, like, that's completely optional if I can beat five normally. But yeah, can you jump long but far? Like, long across that pit, but not so far as you get the coins. Like, yeah, I can probably, like, get some... See, look, I got whoosh, spinning around. Like, I could get, like, a feather... ...and, f like, fly around them or something, but, like, I, I don't see why I would expend an extremely precious, extremely limited resource on that. So that's the level with the bullets that boomerang around. It's very... they don't do much with it. <laughs> but, I don't know, man. When you're a small child playing Mario 3 on the N NES on Christmas morn, they, it feels very scary. The level feels nigh impossible. I want to try that. Long jump. See if it's possible. Uh, that is my mission right now. But no, I could see this being the first level I have to skip. Eh! If I jump closer to the edge, maybe it's possible. I'm gonna give it a few tries. Oh, I think I can do it. I jumped way too late. And I just gave the jump button a little tap, which is no good. Yeah, it's super easy! Whatever, man! I'm just not as well aware. So, look, see that door there that's outside in the mysterious world of outside? Isn't that mysterious? Well, there's a gimmick where you can play an alternate version of the level where every enemy is normal size, thus kind of ruining the whole point. But, like, the thing is, it's still pretty neat. It's just... It feels like there's no point to... I believe... 
there's a whole mess of invisible coins there, I think. You can switch it back to big mode, but why would you when you can do everything a lot easier in small mode? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah! <sighs> Saw that one coming. Just, you know what? Let's do this now in big mode and see if anything changes. Maybe some of the gameplay gets modified because everything is so big. Huh? Didn't think about that, did you? Well, I did, yes. And the answer is no. <laughs> like, that's just the reality. Alright, here, if we're smart, we're gonna wait for the turtle to flop. There we go, floppy turtle. Oh, but we're at, we're at the spawning location. That big chicken is gonna fall. It missed the platform, like it fell right through it, too. Like that, that's not fun when it happens. Like, I would cry foul. I would complain about bad custom block corners till I became red as a tomato. It's a weird way to pronounce tomato, I'm aware. That's right, far thing. So many flowers, look. I feel like I should start loading up on flowers just because they're extra hits. You know what, here we go. Big time here at the thing, as long as I don't fry anything, it's all good. This is this level, I remember it. So this is Donut Block. This is Donut Block. <laughs> what was that? Welcome to anti-commentary. <laughs> that guy just fell, like a big buffoon. What a jokester. He just falls in the lava and dies. Uh, this might become difficult. What if I burn you up? That's not what we're supposed to do. Uh oh, this might be genuinely implausible. You know what? I think I'm just gonna take the hit. I think I accidentally did absolutely the right thing by bringing in some some extra health here. I'm right, just gonna do that, thank you, because this is not a no-hit run. I mean, you're pro- yeah, you're just not getting hit is a good idea in general. But explicitly- oh, whoops! Well, you know what? You know what? It's fine! <laughs> it's totally, totally okay. Is this just, you no, know, so I did not have to L this nor 3 at all, didn't I? However, I did need to use resources though. Like, these are all things we gotta consider. Oh, look at that, it's Donkey Kong! Well, Junior, because of the Leotard. How specific! Like, that's, I, I'm pretty sure Polymorph cannot transform you into a specific person. Like, you can be the same race and species, you can be an extremely similar specimen, maybe, I think, but you cannot be a specific person. World 4! Shit, has a gimmick. Has a lot of burners. If, if you want uh, an expensive telephone, you're just gonna throw in the trash because it's not actually expensive. Iggy's Emporium is where you want to hang out. This is the first screw that you might try to use legit. Look at that. What could that legit screwing use? It's legit been used to screw. I don't know why. What bolt are we tightening here? But here we go. I did it. So you fall through because it spins up until it's at the end where you don't fall through anymore because it can't spin anymore. We did it. We figured it out. Power up here. As long as I don't touch it, it's fine. Oh, what? I did not see that guy at all. Oh, <laughs> it was transfixed with my power up. Wow. Here again. This is a really slow little scroller. If you want some fun in the sun. Maybe look elsewhere, because there's thunderstorms going on. Look at that cloud cover that we're over. Cloud under, cloud carpet. I don't know what word you would use in this case. When you're up, like, above the cloudscape, in a plane or something, and you're like, hey, mission control, 
There's like just infinite ocean of cloud underneath me. What is the terminology that you are expected to use? Also, I think it's pretty wild that if you're standing on where Rocky Wrench would hang out, he still goes up. He just lifts you up. He has a very strong neck. Proud of your neck, Rocky Wrench! I don't know if I'm the first person to tell you that. It's a very common compliment in in the Rocky community. I mean, they made a whole movie about that, probably. Look at that. Uh, jump from one platform to the other in order to avoid slightly more difficulty. Well, here I don't need the time with this ruckus rumbus of flames. Uh, there's no other terminology for it. I got I gotta go to scientific notations here. So here's a part that as a kid I always thought was the hardest thing in the universe because you know you gotta you gotta time these you know you gotta do your jumps you know a little bit you know it kind of happens there's a pipe you can go in it and gotta fight a boss which a guy it's like Iggy but you mispronounce his name that's what it sounds like I did it. Iggy almost had a time to do a thing. Alright. This is what some people like to see. And I'm here to show you what you want to see. Super sweet tricks with the wands. Uh, you should get different scores like 1080 Superfly and Pizza Superman and things like that. You know, it gives you like sweet points. Except I wouldn't want those. And that's why I would just leave it fall on the ground. Like, so like, I don't want to assume anything I feel like this guy looks more like he was made for King of World 2, but hey, King of Jungle can can look however he's gonna look like. The thief who stole the whistle escaped to the east side of the sand. Hey, that's an actual hint that makes sense. Like, it's not told in video game way, so it might not immediately make sense, but no, like, that's coherent. We did it.